and all of them are way too low. <laughs> <laughs> There's this queer spoken word artist named Andrea Gibson who does some amazing poetry and a bunch of us from Queers and Allies got to see her in Iowa this, what, couple weekends ago? And um, she does a piece titled Swing Set about um, how she used to be a preschool teacher and it's all about gender and I'd like to perform it for you now because it resonates with me, so. Are you a boy or a girl? He asks, staring up at me in all three feet of his pudding face grinder and I say, Dylan, You've been in this class for three years and you're telling me you still don't know if I'm a boy or a girl? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, I don't think it really matters at this point, do you? Ah, uh, no. Can I go push on the swing? And this happens every day. It's a tidal wave of kindergarten curiosity rushing straight for the rocks of me. Whatever I am. And in classes we're discussing the Milky Way galaxy or the orbit of the sun around the Earth or... Whatever. Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and kids, did you know that some of the stars you see when you look up in the sky are so far away that they've already burned out? What do you think of that? Timmy! Um... My mom says that even though you got hairs that grow on your legs and the hairs in your head grow out of short and pokey and that you smell really bad like my dad, that you're a girl. Thank you, Timmy. And so it goes. She peers up at me from behind her pink power puff sunglasses and asks, Do you have a boyfriend? And I say no. And she says, Oh... <laughs> well, do you have a girlfriend? And I say, no, but if by some miracle 20 years from now I finally do, then I'll definitely bring her by to meet you. How's that? Okay, can I have a push on the swing? And that's the thing. They don't care. Us, on the other hand. My father sitting across the table at Christmas dinner, gritting his teeth over his still full plate, appetite raped away by the intrusion of my haircut. What were you thinking? You used to be such a pretty girl. Frat boys drunk and screaming, leaning out the windows of their daddy's SUVs. Hey! Are you a faggot or a dyke? And I wonder what would happen if I ran into them in the middle of the night. And then there's always the uh, not quite bright enough fluorescent light of the public restroom. Excuse me, sir! Sir! Do you realize this is the ladies' room? Why, yes, ma'am, I do. It's just that I didn't feel comfortable sticking this tampon on my penis in the men's room. <laughs> but the best, the best is always the mother at the market sticking up her nose and pushing aside her daughter's wide eyes, whispering, don't stare, it's rude. And I just want to say, listen, lady, the only rude thing I see here is your paranoid parenting pushing aside the best education on self that little girl's ever going to get, living with your Maybelline lips, stare master hips, and synthetic Kiwi vanilla scented beauty. So why don't you take your pinks and blues, your boy girl rules, and shove them in that cart with your fucking issue of Cosmo, because I get to start my day with 28 months that know a hell of a lot more than you. And if I showed up in a pink frilly dress, those girls aren't going to love me any more or less. Are you a boy or a... Oh, never mind. Can I have a push on the swing? And someday, y'all, when we grow up, it's all going to be that simple. <laughs>